Yo, what's up everybody, how's it going? Today we're playing Dota 2, but you can change hero at any time. This is a really interesting mode in which you can change your hero at any time. I know, the title really gave it away right there. The way it works is you can type in dash hero and then the name of a hero into chat. And then the game will, after a short delay, swap you into that hero. When you swap, you get stunned for a brief moment, so you can't just do it like mid-fight and abuse that in some, some crazy way. But you can do it very frequently. It doesn't have any other cooldown other than the stun duration. Meaning you can, you know, start out with a really strong early game hero and then swap into kind of like a bunch of different heroes as they become appropriate um, for the situation you're in. It ended up being a really cool mode, I actually thoroughly, deeply enjoyed it. And um, yeah, I had a really good time with it. Just like you will have a good time building a website with Squarespace, today's sponsor. Squarespace, of course, being a fantastic all-in-one platform for all of your website and, you know, website hosting needs. If you want to build an online store, if you want to build a website in general, something for your portfolio, Squarespace is absolutely fantastic for that. In fact, I've been using it myself all the time. Just recently, I've been updating the Clarity Games website because we're going to need that for some Alex stuff and... Uh, Honestly, Squarespace just makes it super easy. So there's a link in the description. Go check it out. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So how does this work? Right, we can change hero. Wait, let me check here. Type in chat hero and then the name. Okay, so if I say I want to be hero viper. Oh. Well, that's going to make the lining pretty easy, isn't it? Unless I have a fun little arrow now, that's always, that's always cute, isn't it? Look at this. Uh, that's 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 my personal arrow. You don't get to have any of that. Anyway, let's grab ourselves the wraith band. Wraith band. Wraith band. All right. So uh, the multipliers for this game are a little lower than normal, just because I felt it. Would be better to have a longer game, so that swapping heroes actually makes a difference. Camilla tank Yan Mega? Probably right. Easily. What is a Yan Mega gonna do to a Gyarados? Nothing. Sorry, we're just kind of currently debating whether or not the Elite Four is gonna be a problem for my Nuzlocke. Because I have... We haven't done the Elite Four yet, like at the time of this recording. We've done everything else. We just... Well, I guess not Victory Road. So we gotta do Victory Road, Road and then we gotta do the Elite Four. But I'm just not scared of the Elite Four at all. And Chad is trying to convince me that I should be worried. And I'm not worried. Because I have a Gyarados with Dragon Dance who's like level 55. And I don't give a shit. I don't need to. I don't need to care. Miller, who is my Gyarados, is going to destroy the Elite Four. Anyway. Yes, you need to do an underscore. No spaces. Alright, anyway. Uh... I don't think... Is that really the strongest laner you could think of? You want to pick a strong laner, right? Well, that's a weird looking Drow Ranger. Why does she have wings? I don't like it. I don't like that she has wings. It makes her look like Queen of Pain. A lot of these new skins are very confusing to me, I gotta say. So, we get to just swap our hero freely. That is very interesting. Sniper. See, that's a better pick. Like, I feel like Drow Ranger is just kind of weak. She's just going to get fucked up. <laughs> you got to kind of pick heroes based on... I should get Alchemist. Hmm. But that feels pretty bad against the Sniper, to be honest. I don't know. I've got I got Viper because I felt Viper would be Well, he's the strongest laner, right? Who is the strongest laner? It's Viper? I would guess it's Viper. Hey buddy. Got it. Very good. Alright, Gals has a bottle. Your alchemist agonims for the entire team and then swap hero. Yeah, right? Like, that's some big brain stuff right there. So, hero alchemist. <laughs> okay. But you do get stunned for a moment, which is not ideal. 
Although, uh, also my items aren't that great, but that's okay. I can use my... Hey, my bottle. I can use my uh, Gravel's Greed now to make a bunch of bonus money. Oh, I should get Doom. Wait, no, Doom is not, not that great. Because the problem with Doom is that I lose... Uh, well, I need to, like, wait out the Baba, right? Okay. So here's the problem again. We are not so strong against the... Uh, <laughs> Acid spray. Okay, buddy. Hey, you just stay in that acid spray. That's okay. Alright, we got the hit. Can we get a follow up? Yep, yeah, we got the second. Three, four, five. Now I need to survive. Ah, just barely not. <laughs> Well, we got the kill first. That's always what matters. A cooldowns reset on Hero Switch? Probably, I would guess. Like, I think you can probably pull some nonsense with Enigma. Hmm. It's D&D &D today. No, D&D &D is on Friday. Don't worry, this time for sure. We're gonna do it on Friday. We're gonna start at around 2 p.m. And we're going to have a fun time with it. And I can promise it this time because there's no reason why this week I shouldn't have enough time. Um, last week I needed to finish something up that was a bit more important, but this team, uh, this week I really do have enough time. So yeah. Yeah, what do you do against Viper? Like, in general. Although, of course, I'm sorry that I just dare imply something is more important than D&D with you guys. <clears throat> Alright. But yeah, I so I'm I'm gonna say we'll do it this Friday starting at 2 p.m. My time, of course. Alright, this gets more corrosive skin. I'm just gonna stick to wiper, honestly. I don't know. At least while we we're farming up. And then So what are we building? I kind of feel like I should be building items that are just like Good on, like, a lot of heroes. It kind of comes down to, like, how we want to look at this. Oh, Skyrath Mage is clever. Yeah, Skyrath Mage actually is going to be a little scary. Also a little dead. Oh, no, I'm a little dead. All right, let's skill this up. We don't want to wanna die to the Queen of Pain thing. Okay. Hero Alchemist? I'm just going to swap to Alchemist so I can use Chemical Rage to heal up. Right? I can also farm up a little bit, which is fun. So I heal up with Chemical Rage, and then I go back to Viper. <laughs> I lose Chemical Rage, but like, the rest of this plan worked out perfectly. So that's pretty good. That's not enough. You are dead, but I might be dead too. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. With Doom on top of that, that's just a little bit too much power. So we have TP boots. Hmm. What do we want to do now? I mean, we could get like a Shadow Fiend and just farm. It feels like getting somebody to farm with is not a bad idea. We also probably just want to build an Aghanim Scepter. So we can, uh, you know, have Aghanims on all of our heroes. <laughs> I don't know. Kind of makes sense to me. Nature's Prophet. I don't like it. They have vision up here. Ooh, that's scary. So they're putting a lot of pressure on me in the mid lane. Ooh, that's unfortunate. Okay. Well, that's not exactly ideal. Boy, 
That definitely sucked a lot. Eat a royal jelly. And um, probably pick up the ocean heart while we're at it. So I think I'm actually just going to rush an Aghanims. No, here's what we're going to get. We're going to get Saint and Yasha, and then we'll get an Aghanims. Because I feel like that's just pretty all right here. Hmm, Spirit Break is coming in. I'm guessing this is easily enough with the Spirit Breaker for sure. But this is a problem now here. Alright, we got the tower hit. I say we run. Hmm. Yeah, the stun is a problem. I wonder if I can status resistance through that. Hmm, I, I am using this too much. <laughs> I'm using this too much. The fact that you get stunned is really just... You can't just swap immediately in the middle of a fight. Ah. <sighs> okay. Does refreshing... Uh, does changing hero refresh the ability? I think so, yeah. We could probably just spam Zeus ultimate. Like what Siren is doing here, Nature's Prophet and Zeus just swapping back and forth. But that feels... It feels like you're being a bit of a wiener, to be honest. Hero Roshan. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that's actually... That is actually a hero. Yeah, no, that is actually a valid hero. Um, I assume this... This mode just exclude, excludes Roshan. Okay, looking at the heroes in the game right now, I just, I honestly think Viper is just super good. So I'm gonna stick with Viper for a little bit. Right? Like, Viper is just crazy strong here. And then we can get a Medusa? Probably? For like, late game. Can just start working towards that. Oh, in case you don't know what the D&D &D thing is. So, uh, what we're going to do on Friday is... It's not really D&D. &D. We just call it D&D &D because people know what D&D &D is. Right? Dungeons and Dragons. But it's actually going to be kind of more of a homebrew system that, I can, that I'm going to come up with. Slash already came up with. Uh, there's still a bit of work left to do, but it's mostly, mostly looking alright. Um, for kind of like a roleplay thing. Where Twitch plays an idea and you guys get to collectively make choices. And in case that sounds kind of difficult, uh, it is. But it'll be fine. Like, I actually have, like, a pretty fun idea on how I want to make this work. And it'll just be set up to be a one-shot as well. Which means there's no expectation of it, like, lasting long-term. At least not this particular session. Um, so, uh, chicanery is uh, permitted. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I have a, I already came up with a really fun fun setting. And I think we can also have a super nice presentation because I am just going to use chroma art. <laughs> I'm just going to use chroma art. <laughs> Absolutely, I'm going to do that. Okay, we're doing a ton here. Yeah. Put him back in there. Very good. Viper Strike? Ah, no Agonims. Just makes it very slow. Or oh, very, very low range. So we do not make choices. No, you guys will get to make choices. Don't worry. And again, I, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. We did a little bit of it on the Forever stream. And honestly, I've been looking forward to it. I just haven't really had a chance to properly prepare for it. But this week should be fine. 
the only reason I can see why this week wouldn't be fine is if the like vaccine just like fully knocks me out for the rest of the week. But I don't think the side effects are that strong. Like even when I've heard from people saying that, ah, no, I, uh, I really went through through some shit there. Like even when I heard that, it was usually just like a day or two, not a whole week. So we should be fine. Okay, that's fine. No big deal. Uh, this is bad. I'm leaving. Ow. Oh, come on, man. I was clicking it. Alright, that's too many heroes. Well, we almost have our Aghanims. Hey chat, uh, are we gonna have another forever stream? <laughs> okay, okay. Forever stream proposal. We just do a subathon for the international. And we'll be here, we'll be watching the international together, like for what, two, two and a half weeks straight. Maybe we can start a little early. And, uh, We'll just sub off on our way through the international. I'm just, I don't know. I think that sounds kind of fun. That will be sometime in October. So I want Aghanim's shard before I swap to Medusa, right? I think I think Viper's kind of run his course. I'm just gonna swap to Medusa. I don't want somebody stealing her mostly. That's what I'm kind of worried about here. We'll get the Aghanim's shard. And we'll buy a Tome of Knowledge. Why not? <clears throat> you casting the International? Yeah, I was thinking we could do commentary on it or just watch it. The thing is, the International is so much content, right? Like, there is so much content there that we'll be able to keep ourselves entertained. No? It just feels like it could be a bit of fun. And it would be a little bit until then, so that's, like, in case you're wondering, Bami, another thing in in August? No, 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 International is in, in October, right? Like, they moved it back. If it was in August, then I would also say, no, that's too close. But it's not in August, it's in October. Okay. More mana gain here. All right, so we have our, our cold-blooded and all of that. I mean, who else could we be? I think I think Medusa is actually pretty alright against Slog. I don't know. The team is kind of a bit rough for Medusa, to be completely honest. I mean, Medusa isn't right, but who is if it's not Medusa? Medusa is just like such a strong late game hero. Spectre. Oh, but then my item build is bad. <laughs> oh, then my item build isn't isn't the best, is it? Is Spectre better here? I can see Spectre being alright, yeah. Oh, hello, buddy. Cool. That works. Ah, somebody else is taking the Spectre. Yeah, only... Every hero can only be on the map once. Oh, we're swapping back and forth. Why is that? What does the shard do for Medusa? Whenever we get hit by a single target effect, we instead 
Um, or like, no, we do get hit by it still, I think. But then we throw a Mystic Snake at the target, which is really nice with Aghanims because then you stun the target and you also, you know, you gain mana back, which is HP with Medusa. It's just a very nice synergistic effect in, in a lot of scenarios. It's very powerful, in my opinion. So this guy is just spamming the, like, the global stuff or what? Alright, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'll help out, I'm Medusa. He's gonna try to help out. Alright, hey buddy. Ooh, coming up. I haven't really talked about this, but this mod is a goddamn banger. I love this. This is great. <laughs> super interesting, super neat. Okay, that guy is not... Yeah, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Alright, we've got a Skadi now. Which isn't exactly the most useful thing, but... You know, it will be in just a little bit. Yeah, we're kind of... Kind of running them over a little bit right now. But hey, maybe we can do a second game. Hmm. So we want to kind of get into their base, but I feel like Medusa isn't the best for that. My only problem with uh, swapping to Death Prophet here is that I'm worried that somebody will steal the Medusa. Right? That's that's kind of my uh, my concern a little bit. But that's okay. We'll just go ahead and push a little bit. We should still be very strong. Very good. Oh yeah. Pushing! Now this is this is what we got the Death Prophet for. Look at her go. Yeah, Medusa can't keep up with that. I mean maybe eventually, it's just not quite. Oh yeah. Okay, that's down. Wait. Hero... Medusa? No! <laughs> How dare you! <laughs> Give her back! <laughs> no, it's okay. Okay, thank you. <laughs> it's very rude, I have to say. Very, very rude. Although I think I'm just gonna go back to Death Prophet. Because it refreshes the ultimate. That's why I said it's okay. Like, I just... I really actually just wanted to refresh the Death Prophet ultimate. Because this is definitely one where if it has no cooldown, you can get a lot of value out of it. Okay. Switch hero while exorcism is active? No, that goes away. That doesn't work. Uh. Alright, let's go back to... to the best hero. Yeah! I love Death Prophet. <laughs> Come here, you nerd. Come here, you nerd. Hey, we got him. Well, that was really neat. What an interesting mode. What an interesting mode. Before we get into the second game, I want to show you guys a little bit of Squarespace. Squarespace, of course, being a fantastic service for creating and hosting websites. So you can see right now we are in my dashboard and you can see all of the websites I currently have. So we got one for Clarity Games, one for Chroma, one for Disasters. And if I want to, I can just go in here and see, ah, okay, go to website, very good. 
And then you get this nice little menu here where you can just modify things. So this website is very simple right now. It just you know, has kind of this main page. We don't really need much more than that. But you can also see that we have access to like commerce and marketing tools, analytics, all of the stuff you would expect, right? Um, and it's very easy to just uh, manage things, right? It's really quite fantastic. Uh, just recently, I, I used this here to, you know, add in this little animation on the background for the Sweet Dreams Alex header we now have on the website. And um, yeah, it was honestly just a pleasure to work with. So go to the link in the description, squarespace.com slash Baumi, gets you 10% off your first order. And, uh, you know, go, go use it. If you need a website, honestly, Squarespace is the way to do it. Uh, for me in particular, I really like that it's so convenient. I don't know. I just, I don't want to put up with this kind of stuff. Frankly speaking, I build websites not out of passion, but because I need them. And so the easier it is, the better. And Squarespace makes it really easy. So that's great. Anyway, link down below and let's get into the second game. Why does Viper look so weird? What's going on with Viper's tail? <laughs> <laughs> Buddy, what is happening? Dude. Okay, but like when I move it, <laughs> it's fine. It's normal. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> is this like a new thing? Why is he doing that? Okay, that's very funny. Oh, that is very funny. Yeah, we got a short boy. All right, dogs here. Ah! I just had an idea. I just had the world's nastiest, nastiest idea. But I need this guy to not be dogs here. <laughs> All right. On my way to a one bite kill. Yeah, it's okay. This guy isn't going to stay Doxia because Doxia isn't even good here. Like we'll just bully this guy out of being Doxia. It's fine. Especially we have the crystal mane. That's very nice. I quite appreciate having the Crystal Maiden here. How handy is that? Yeah, Viper has just always been like the world's freest mid hero. You just don't have to do anything. You just. I mean, you just click Q and people die. It's, it's very easy. Yeah, we'll grab Boots of Speed. More Boots. Okay. Now the Doxy is still just being Doxy. Are you sure you don't want to swap? Is this working? <laughs> Are you satisfied with your performance? I mean, I mean, no disrespect. I'm just kind of wondering, you know. But, uh, okay. I guess the thing about Doxia is Doxia can actually kind of interact with me without needing to interact with me. Which makes it a little... A little less effective for me to be Viper. And I suppose against Viper, that's really all you can ask for, right? You can't really ask to win the lane. You're not going to win the lane. But you can say, hey, I would like to be a little, a little more chill about it. So, uh, what are we going to do? I'm thinking we're going to abuse the fact that cooldowns reset and get Enigma and Black Hole everything. How are we feeling about that, chat? We done? <laughs> Because that sounds like a good idea to me. Cool. 
I'm glad that was actually enough, I wasn't sure. I was looking a little tight. Do Zeus. No, 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 no. Don't do it to Zeus. Zeus is, is cheating. Like, that's just being a wiener right there. If, if what you're doing is just swapping to Zeus and swapping back and then using the ultimate constantly. Alright. So, we have uh, TP boots. We probably want to get, like, Aghanims and, and Shadow Blade? Or get Shadow Blade first. Oh, hey, you're a Viper. Uh, oh, sorry, no Viper. I'm the Viper. No, you're a Drow Ranger now. Although, this is actually a different guy. A little close, but nothing too bad. I think I'll just have to go back. Unless I can... Hero Alchemist again. And I can just use this for healing. <laughs> That's my secret strategy. I just use Alchemist to heal up. If <laughs> I'm not even using Alchemist for farm. I'm just using it to heal. And then go back to Viper. <laughs> oh, and Cottle! That's actually, that's actually a banger. Let's go. That's actually such a bop. So smart. So big brain. Ah. Oh yeah, do that. That's fine. Very good. Okay, cool. Hero Alchemist. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're just gonna heal up. Yeah, it turns out the alchemist region is just kind of god tier, right? Okay, so we're healed up, and then we go to Kiro. Probably Dragon Knight if we want to push. Death Prophet is good too, but I think this early on, specifically without level 2 ultimate, Dragonite is probably better. Yeah, I wanted to abuse Shadow Shaman too. Well, screw you. <laughs> I can do this too. Oh, you're using the Resurrection, that's clever. Oh shit, you're already Shadow Shaman. Damn it. Okay. Alright, we're level 12. So, hero... Death Prophet. Now we're running a little low on mana here. Yeah, we do still have the Death Prophet ultimate going on, which will defend. I wanted to try and push instead of defending, but I don't think I have a choice here. I just need to keep them away at all. Hero. Is Keeper gonna work? Damn it. Wait, there's two Shadow Shaman. That's funny. Okay. Run! Axe is pretty clever. Alright, cool. We're just gonna be cuddle for a moment. While I restore myself some mana. And then we go back to... Hero Warlock. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> oh, let's go. We just I'm just gonna drop drop an ultimate and go to hero um death prophet again. Oh no, he goes away. Ah Alright. I was kind of hoping that would stick around, but oh well. So we have our Death Prophet ultimate going on now. Which that should still result in a push of swords. Ah, okay, okay. The, the mode is smarter than me. Already considered. That kind of nonsense. Yeah, we're running a little low on... On uptime here. Of course, we are Death Prophet, so we'll just... Hero Keeper of the Light God. Kotl is just such a long, such a long name, right? It's kind of difficult to type all of that. <laughs> then we'll blast this really quick. Which will just uh, push the lane while we re restore our mana some more. And then the hero Death Prophet. And we have our our Death Prophet again. Dude, this is such a fucking bob of a mode. Oh god. Yeah! Yeah, get it. I just need to be a bit careful here. I don't want to like get caught out. Dude, isn't this sick? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just chilling here. <clears throat> Alright, we've got our invisibility. Unstoppable! Yes, that's right. Oh shit, we're running low again. It's okay, Spirit Siphon is still very good. Like, even, even just Spirit Siphon is actually super powerful. And then Hero Keeper of the Light. We'll go back to Kotl. Kotl is actually the MVP. That's very funny. That Kotl is just such a legend. It's just restoring mana is so handy. Okay. Somebody else is already Enigma. Oh, we can we can cycle Enigmas. I'll be Enigma. I'll like you'll be Enigma. We just like bounce back and forth, you know. Okay. We have mana. Oh oh oh! There's a black hole. All right, swap out of Enigma. I'm gonna be Enigma next. Are you gonna stay Enigma? <laughs> what a wiener. Okay. <laughs> Alright, very good. Alright, I'm here. Yeah! <laughs> it's just not a problem here. Like, why would that be an issue, right? You heard him. Try Phoenix Egg for mana. Oh, Phoenix is smart. Ph Phoenix is like just a full heal. Okay. And we can like actually do like a lot of damage. Phoenix just comes with like a small risk, I guess, but like it's not even that much, honestly. Your bottom tower is under attack. I should be a little careful. I shouldn't do this like right in front of their base, probably. Your bottom tower has fallen. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Okay. 
Very good. We'll go back to Enigma. Dude, this is peak Dota. Why don't they play this mode at the International? You know, we should host our own International. Which is just gonna be like a bunch of like wacky Dota bots. Right, we'll do we'll host our own international during the international. I'm sounds, I don't like it. Why can't I not cast anything? Get fucked up. Shit, they got me. They got me. Damn it! Uh, what's the price pool? Yo mom! <laughs> Shit, that actually works and it's kind of horrible. I am sorry, I didn't mean... <laughs> it's just, I wanted to just give a nonsensical response, not one that is actually kind of rude and worse. <laughs> no, your mama is not the price pool. I'm sure she's a very nice woman. I mean, no disrespect to your mama. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna get, like, a philosopher, a philosopher's stone, why not? Some additional GPM. Alright, I need to swap really quick. My experiment was an unqualified success. Wait, did I D level? No, I didn't. I can't wait. Okay, coming in here. No, I fucked up. Okay, I didn't fuck up. I fucked up a lot. Oh, we're all we're still kind of mostly okay. Okay. I'm gonna go back. I think I'm just gonna be Medusa? I should actually go back to being Tinker, I guess. No, I wanna go into this top lane, but I wanna go there as Medusa. Because we can actually do some good pushing here. Playing dance music can help ward off mosquitoes. Peepo dance. Hey, Jeremy. Wait, you... Is that true? <laughs> I didn't know that. That's kind of wild. Can you use up and down arrows? No, I don't think so. Dota doesn't have, like, a lot of chat functionality. So... You can't just, like, reselect something. Okay. I'm just gonna be invisible. I just realized why that didn't broke because it's not a silver edge yet. Alright, we're not that strong currently, but I guess it's enough. Okay, I'm thinking I should get a Saint and Yasha because Saint and Yasha is just so convenient. Hey, are we doing this now in a custom game? Come on, buddy. What are you five? Who gives a shit? They're just chilling. All right, hero. Who was I? Oh, right, we're using Phoenix for healing, right? Okay. 
Okay. Well, we're actually doing a lot of damage, too. Well, that actually worked out way better than I even... <laughs> than I... Than I had... Had even planned for. <laughs> Alright. Hero... Uh, Shadow... No, that guy is already in play. Hero Death Prophet. Death Prophet is actually just way too, way too sick. And I love her way too much. Ah, oh, yeah, let's go. Ultimate is active. So this tower's dead. Because we're a death prophet. <laughs> hey, buddy. Somebody make you a mistake here? Yeah. Yeah, you just you just can't fuck with Death Prophet like that. No! But you can do it like that. That does work. <laughs> the summons despawn on hero change. The small is actually quite well made. Yeah, definitely, definitely. The fact that you can't just like run around and drop a bunch of Shadow Shaman wards is is very well thought out actually. It's cool to see that additional consideration being put into this, you know? And I'm also very surprised that this hasn't crashed at all. Like, it's just been super steady going. Like, it's just no problem. Let's go, Onyx. This Enigma is the maddest of lads. Alright, get that sub edge. Yeah, Viper for pushing, definitely. Not as good as Death Prophet, of course, but you know, there's not a lot of not there's not a lot of heroes that can push like Death Prophet can. Um, it doesn't really matter who I am. I'm just gonna change back to Death Prophet, I think. Because I just want to be able to push again. And uh, nothing pushes better than a Death Prophet. So Death Prophet it is. Let's go. The enemy's bottom tower has fallen. Yes. It has fallen. You know what I was also thinking about like the TI subathon? We could kind of use that to like maybe help 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 me fund the IRL setup because in case you don't know I I really would like to do some IRL streaming and IRL videos and all of that stuff but to get like a proper setup the way I would like it to because you guys know I don't really like to half-ass things um, it's just expensive it's like free grand and I just can't justify that purchase like just like that you know what I mean Okay, go, 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 go. No, no, no! <laughs> that actually got me. <laughs> Big oof. Big oof. Okay. Razor with refresher. I still think Death Prophet pushes faster. Like, I can see, like, a wind runner with a crazy right click item set can maybe push faster than a Death Prophet. But I don't, like, reasonably speaking, just in terms of, like, sheer kind of, like, normal pushing power, I don't think anything out does a Death Prophet. I don't know. Lone Druid pushes faster. But Lone Druid also needs way more stuff to do it. Like, yeah, again, you can just put six Divines. Well, you probably want, like, five Divines and a, a Desolator on a Wind Ranger, and she will probably push faster. But, like, is that a fair comparison? Because that's not a realistic item build, you know? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this video. I really enjoyed it. This was actually a really fun game. This was really cool. If you did, of course, don't forget to leave a rating on the video. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow.